it's healthy thursday and that's why you see me dancing in the studio <laughs> good morning our wonderful viewers it's good to have you here on the show today yes i'm excited because you are here to watch us and because it's healthy thursday everything we do today it's all about health generally about your health we want you to be healthy how healthy are you this morning Good morning, my name is Joy Abu and welcome to Family and Values. Of course, you know how we do it on the show. We bring everything that has to do with your family, keeping you bonding, keeping you in touch, keeping making sure that your family is healthy just the way you are. Today is going to be a very interesting and interactive section. Myself and of course the beautiful Lori. She's all she's all fitted for healthy Thursday. <laughs> good morning. Oh, good morning to you. How fitted are you this morning? Mm. Uh, you know when I was coming up and I was coming through that um, ascending, I I felt my breath was better than mm. at, it, it used to be. It used to and be I was right. Like yes, I'm making it. I'm doing it. And so, <laughs> if you see me like this this morning, it's all about keeping fit. So I'll say it's all about our health mm. and how well we take care of ourselves, how well we take care of our children, how well we take care of our environment, how well we also look into all those things that we put on. Yes, we have to watch it. How do you dress? And when you are dressing, are you dressing to kill? Are you dressing to, you know, to make yourself feel comfortable uh -huh. and address mm -hmm. in the way you want to be addressed? Mm -hmm. Or are you dressing that you want people to know I've just arrived? Mm -hmm. And when you are doing your steppings, you went yeah. and sleep and you Orange. fall. You know, it goes a long way. You understand? So you have to know how healthy you are. My name is Remain Oluri AJ Adejoki Adobe David. And I hope you are going to have a wonderful time with us today. Don't go anywhere because we are still here. Yes, we are still here today. Like I told you, it's an interactive section. Very interactive. Now, that is why the numbers displayed on the screen. Please send in your messages. Yes. Everything that pertains to your health, everything that you, every question you want to ask about your health, please send in your messages. Do not call the numbers. Please, do not call the numbers. We are streaming across all our social media platforms on our Instagram page, on our Facebook, on our X page. Please, on our YouTube, download the Galaxy mobile app so that you can watch us on the globe. You don't, you don't want to miss exciting yes, moments so. and topics don't miss like this. You know? it, turn on your notification button. Okay. Today, today, today is going to be all about you. Yes, we want to get your to feedback when you. it comes to health. Mm. And um, you know, when it comes to health, a lot of questions arose. You from get, yes, everybody wants to ask one or two questions. Uh -huh. So we want to hear from you. Mm. That's why you have that number on your screen. We want to get your questions. We want you to send them in, and we'll be here. To give you all that you require when it comes to you know getting response from those messages okay so what's your fitness um journey like you just said you're, you're coming from the gym you're just paparizing us when you got into the studio you're saying i'm just coming from the gym and just see the, calm down don't worry <laughs> just calm down you see some of us we are coming <laughs> when you see the gen z you will know them they always want to terrorize you but I'm not here to be too frigid about anybody mm. trying to make me feel uncomfortable. Mm. This morning, eh, mm. I know deep down because I've checked my weight. Okay. And I've come down a little. My mm. beat, my blood pressure, I did that this morning before leaving home. Were you able to do that? When was the last time you did it? Dr. Africa was asking us the last time. I, Have you endeavored to try and check your BP? The last from the I last checked time. my BP yesterday and I'm in good health. I'm in good <laughs> condition. The only thing I've not checked is my sugar level. level. That okay. one I've not checked. So but I my checked BP it and yes. it was good. Mm. So how well do you do this? It's very good for you, for your children, even when they run temperature. You know, these days, uh, some of our children go through a lot from school to the activity in the house, homework. You school. know that now schools are closing 4 o'clock. It's no longer the first one week that they uh -huh. close to now, 4 o'clock. By the time they come back, do homework, do this, before you know it, they're already mm. sleeping. Mm -hmm. So you need to check all this because mm. any little thing, uh, it may come from over working them, the awareness that come through them and they're up and down yeah, we, that's are, true. we are parents too yeah we need to, to go be through. up dying okay so it's time for us to go for this short break and we'll be right back while we expect more of your messages
healthy diet. A healthy diet helps to protect against malnutrition in all its forms as well as non-communicable diseases including diabetes, heart diseases, stroke and cancer. Unhealthy diet and lack of physical activity are leading global risks to health. Healthy dietary practice starts early in life. Breastfeeding fosters healthy growth and improve cognitive development and may have longer term health benefits such as reducing the risk of becoming overweight or obese and developing non-communicable diseases later in life. Consuming a healthy diet throughout the life course helps to prevent malnutrition in all its forms as well as a range of non-communicable diseases and conditions. However, increased productions of processed food, rapid urbanization and changing lifestyles have led to a shift in dietary patterns. People are now consuming more food high in energy, fat, free sugars and salt sodium and many people do not eat enough fruits, vegetables and other dietary fibers such as whole grain. The exact makeup of a diversified, balanced and healthy diet will vary depending on individual characteristics like age, gender, lifestyle and degree of physical activity, cultural contest, locally available foods and dietary customs. However, the basic principles of what constitutes a healthy diet remains the same. Best diet emphasizes fruits, vegetables, whole grains and fat-free or low-fat milk and milk products. Simple ways to adopt a healthy, sustainable eating pattern is by eating a diet rich in whole food. Think twice before you crash diet, lean on professionals to get started, learn the right diet for you, surround yourself with healthy foods, keep filling snacks on hand and avoid an all or nothing approach on your meal plan. Note, people with diets rich in vegetables and fruits have a significantly lower risk of obesity, heart diseases, stroke, diabetes and certain types of cancer. Welcome back. Of course, if not the topic, it's healthy diets. Yes, boom, 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 boom. Healthy diet. That's what we are discussing today. Um, healthy diet entails fruits, entails vegetables, entails a whole lot of things. I mean, we talk about veggies. We are talking about everything that you have around you. You don't need to break the bank for you to have healthy diets, you know. So that's going to be our point of discussion today. Of course, we are going to be having our Zoom guests join us much later as the show goes on. Okay. Larry. Mm. Healthy diets. Healthy diet. I love vegetables you know, you know, a lot. Um, I, I think sometime we've talked about um, um, being healthy and trying to maintain a healthy life. So now, today we are talking about healthy diets. And I understand that it's very important that when you're talking about healthy diets, you're talking about veggies, you're talking about everything. So generally, children have resumed school. And some parents mm. don't know how to incorporate veggies into After children you've been told <laughs> by our doctor that, that you should eat healthy don't give them carbonated drink mm -hmm. make sure they take food and drinks that will and take how many like three liters, three of, liters water of water every day. Abba, you must know now some of our parents have even going to church you give simple sweets put you know sweets, <laughs> you know today you know things that you know, will make the, them not to disturb them you know our schools are resumed now a whole lot of parents have forgotten that they are you can dice little veggies into children's so yeah. say, no, my children don't eat it my son they don't know how to eat you, you know, yes, from a very tender age yesterday i had um, rice with beans all put together and i decided to put the stew aside and also had some vegetables mm. so my daughter Thank was you. like ah, this one everything you just have this 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 mommy oh girl <laughs> so i was like yeah it's good to have i love vegetables mm. actually i love vegetables a lot and so when i'm eating it i tend to like believe that i am completing whatever it is i have of to course especially when it's soft yes not too not too much heat with the vegetables so mm. you get the freshness and the beautiful um, smell and the aura, the potentials of that vegetable. That comes with oh it. God, it's always love. When you now put onions again, my dear, everybody in the environment. Do you know, something. I actually learned that eating carrots um, raw, you don't get enough of the nutrients. You have to steam it a bit. 
Yes. And I got that from a, from a doctor that was talking about how to eat certain fruits. And I was like, okay, so those of us that munch on carrots, we are not getting so much of the nutrients. You have to steam it a little bit. That That's when every of the nutrients get them. I'm like, okay, now we understand. <laughs> okay, what about this um, trending talk on having um, more of um, better to take turkey than to take chicken? And one is more has fattening and uh, cholesterol and all that. We'll be looking at all this when we have our guest, but we still want your test message, your text message, your SMS. Please get back to us and also on our social media platform, which we're watching us right now, connected with us. We'd we'll love to have your questions if you have anything relating to this. So, where are we right now? We're sending, we're sending it. I'm waiting for that text. We need the messages <laughs> coming, please. <laughs> I'm waiting for that message. Okay, so you were saying something about um, the turkey, the chicken. Which do you which think has more? For me, Even if I want to memory. eat both, I skin it. <laughs> <laughs> and I give the, the, the skin to the kids because it has uh, more fat. I think they need it okay. than me. I, so for whether, but some people, I think it has to do with preference of taste. They feel like one is more tasty and more juicier than the other. For, and and, and that one has the slippery way. Yes. Uh, slippery test. But you know, there are some meals you want to cook that you don't even, you need, you need the chicken, not the turkey. Mm. There are some meals, yes. There are some meals that you need the breast. Those, okay, you, you need, for this particular meal, you yeah. need the breast of the chicken. You need the wings. You need, so there are certain, but I think it, for me, oh, that's how I eat it. Too. I'll just have to skin, but the, whether it's chicken or it's the turkey, I'll skin it and then... And um, I want to ask, when was the last time you tried what Kevin Parr told us to do? I tried it. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Let her continue. I will put her on the hot seat. I tried it on Saturday. And going I to give it, you are going to do <laughs> like that. Uh, no, I actually skipped. I tried it on Saturday, but one thing I noticed How many? <laughs> many? I'm I had, I had no, 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 no. I did not because <laughs> I had those muzzle constraints coming. Hey, yes. Come. When you've not done it for a very then long time. Then you keep good doing it. <laughs> so you have this muzzle constraint coming and then it's, and then I noticed that it's muzzle awesome. pull started. Do you, you know it's because you've not done it in a long while? Yes, That's it's because why. I've not done it in and a long while. And when you keep on doing that, mm. and you know one thing, of recent, um, you many people will see me wearing sneakers and low shoes oh, of and course. all that. I, actually, I love keeping feet. Uh. Unfortunately, I would have been maybe a military personnel. But so what stopped you? I don't know. I lost ah. I lost that touch. You'd have been so young. mean and so strict. Yeah. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> ah. No, no, I won't be. I won't be. I will ah, actually no. still be myself. You'd have been so strict. Mm -mm. But, mm -mm. but mm -mm. I was... <laughs> God foresaw <laughs> your, your direction and said, no, 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 my daughter, go I'll still way. be myself. It's just that, you know, my figure always um, make me feel like, wow, I would have loved to be in this. The um, smartness, the way you... Uh, you know. So, we on have recent, producer is looking I, very smart. That <laughs> producer that have gone into the military, you know. You know, of recent, I, I tend to watch some ladies. I've, I've had a series of sisters mm. and aunts or people close to me who had one time or the other had little sleep while wearing heels. Okay. And so I always try as much as possible to avoid to it. To avoid it, right? So that you, you know, don't So that you, you keep, you know, when you have a certain weight, you need to also watch how and what you project yourself on That's very so that true. it will not be to give you that balance that you need uh -huh. so yeah. you not find yourself in a situation you will not be able to manage or you regret very you true on. you know why, when we talk about health and we educate families to keep healthy is for your own good yesterday on my way um, back home i received a very sad news and somebody told me that oh the brother came into the country and lodged in a hotel slept and never woke up hmm. yes and they were like oh maybe it's village people the first thing i asked was when when he was coming into nigeria did he do proper, proper medical, medical examination hmm. because i'm sure whatever flights you were in there was the ac the coat some people are prone to and it's been a long time you took yeah. that long distance um journey and so when he landed he slept and never woke up hmm. and because there was a lady there and they said the lady left 3 a.m so there was this, there is this accusation because the case is currently on uh, ongoing investigation that is a lady that actually maybe must have and I, the first thing i said was how was his health when he was leaving? 
Because hmm. for that me, too. I felt maybe there had been a cardiac arrest. They have been one thing. It could have been, one, could thing have been one, one thing or the other. Or maybe his sugar level or something. And the, the, the elder brother looks at me and said, you know, that's one thing we didn't really... I Put said, how was his health? Because I wasn't looking at what they were saying. The first question I asked was, how is your health? Because sometimes we go to bed with all the stress, with the anxiety, mm. and you're not checking yourself mm. properly. That's why the last time we had um, Dr. Africa on the show, he said, make sure you get one parameter that checks your BP. Mm -hmm. No matter what you're eating, check your BP. It's very it's important. Very important because once it shoots or once it's low, it's it. You know, when it's high, it's a problem. When it's low, it's a problem. So you it's just even need to worse when, when it's, it's low. low. You anything can happen at that at that particular. Time. So when we are on family and values, and it's Thursdays, and we bring our doctors on the show, and we are telling you to keep your health in check. Trust me, it's for your own good, so that you don't have emergency cases. At least cases that you know that are within your judiciary, you can manage the ones that you need external hands then you go for it you know minor things will keep you fit like today we are talking about healthy diets mm -hmm. It won't cost you so much. We've had a doctor on the show that has said it's not going to cost you so much. Little, little things. Your little um, ugu, your little veggies, veggies exercises, around exercise, your way of your life, way of activities. Life. Okay, okay, okay you know what? Let me give them these 10 tips uh, for good health, okay? You have a hilting LD. You need to measure and watch your weight. Mm. It is very important, okay? Me, do you know also fasting can be a way of physically help of course now so many men the period of fasting from, is from, from all those different chunks, chunks here that and there that you know hit. and there's a whole lot of process of fasting going on now you could jump so you into one you can do it once spiritually and physically is you are becoming healthy yeah, also you have limited on healthy food limit all on healthy food and heat healthy meals mm. take multivitamins and supplements prescribed by your doctors just like me don't, that have stopped don't do self-medication no uh, she has stopped having it don't, don't, don't do self-medication it's it, you know by trying to get a supplement mm. at my joy is using it it will be good for me i want so to let me younger go like john <laughs> let me go and uh, use it it's not ideal make sure that it is something that is prescribed by your doctor because your doctor will know at what measure and how your health can work with the um with the supplement also drink water and stay hydrated and limit sugary substance sugary foods meals drinks and beverages is very important exercise regularly and be physically active make sure your exercise comes in regularly mm. and be physically active mm. reduce sitting and screen time <laughs> you see that screen time, man. My, my, I love my. You, you my see, phone will always you see that screen time. You don't watch too much. You, you see that screen time, man. Sometimes we do it unconsciously. Hmm. Your, your, you've made up your mind that so so time. I'm, 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 then you now remember that ah, I'm supposed to watch news. I want to listen to the news, hmm. and you're listening to the the news is over. You <laughs> just say ah, there's one program I'm supposed to. <laughs> like our producer that loves all this. Me too, I love Telemundo. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not a party sweet, so I you, I've, I've never been. I know you have. No, you know why? You know why? I was like, no, I was addicted to it at a particular time. And it was as bad as I wake up 6 a.m. Ah, no, I don't do that. No, so you see, when I took the... So sometimes when I see, uh, especially <laughs> my producer, I know she's... <laughs> Why are you over my blood? Because I know eh? that. Eh? So reduce screen time is very important. <laughs> you see that one for those of you that... Okay, what about you are. get enough good sleep? How, and well, now, how well do you sleep? Now you see that sleeping. Mm. You see that sleep issue. Um... <laughs> So I'm not speaking. You get you get Lagos, Abi. No, no, that's why I'm coming to. If you are living in Lagos, so you cannot get eight so hours. So motivational speakers will tell you eight sleep hours. eight hours. Now, if you want to do your calculation, the traffic, mm. you get up, you get home, maybe around. Let's say for those, let's be, let's be, let's be fair for those living on the island or coming, ah, working on the please. island. They get it back home sometimes 10, 30, 11. You are talking about 10, 30, when they are already on Chod Milan break by 4 a.m. in the That's morning. That's what I'm saying. So what time would they now sleep to not get eight hours? Even me, I don't get, I would sleep and four o'clock, I'm already up because I need to get the kids ready for school. You know, so that eight hours of a thing. The only thing I'll say is when it's time for sleep, even if it's three, four hours, make sure you're sleeping.
Oh. That's that's where I get my own thing. I am not going to set alarm and say I want to sleep for eight hours. But once I make up my mind that it's ten p.m. I want to sleep and wake up for, you see, between that ten to four, there is nothing you do. I am sleeping. So my phone is on silence. I won't put it off in case of emergency. And then I used to set. There's this alarm I used to set. So when there's an emergency, it it keeps ringing so i'll know that okay so i i don't joke with even if it's three four hours i don't joke with it it is the kids that can have eight hours though it uh, is kids that can have eight hours don't let the doctors hear you say that <laughs> no but because for me, they are the pro in this case no, you know what and I'm the, reason, so. the reason why they say that is because they have seen experience have shown them experience are of many of the okay let me ask you how many medical hand... doctors are having six eight hours sleep yes that's what i wanted to talk about. how many medical doctors see, are see, having I eight think hours when sleep? they said eight hours it may not like it may not be all through the night that is it but it may be like uh, your your siesta is also part of the eight calculate hours. it when you i for your me siesta, i feel like when you need to rest rest your your nap your the literally for me i feel like when, you, when you have when you have 30 minutes to rest rest when you have one hour to rest rest don't joke with it because and when your health finally puts you on that bed go you and take rest more than eight hours go and rest so for me which one would you prefer for me it's timing if it's one hour to Joy, rest, which rest. one would you prefer i won't get to that point because i usually rest <laughs> so let's let's try as much as possible mm. okay taking water and the carbonated drink the like of zobo also is very good but make sure the sugar content rather generate your 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 sweetener from the fruits like pineapple from watermelon okay yeah you can squeeze watermelon into your your zobo you can also get the um, this other fruits tiger like, nuts and co yes you can put them in your okay we've been discussing healthy diets on today like you know Thursday is always interesting i told you today's today is going to be a very inter uh, interactive section and we are still expecting your text messages please send in your messages we are going on a quick break when we return we are still discussing healthy diets diet a healthy diet helps to protect against malnutrition in all its forms as well as non-communicable diseases including diabetes, heart diseases, stroke and cancer. Unhealthy diet and lack of physical activity are leading global risks to health. Healthy dietary practice starts early in life. Breastfeeding fosters healthy growth and improve cognitive development and may have longer term health benefits such as reducing the risk of becoming overweight or obese and developing non-communicable diseases later in life. Consuming a healthy diet throughout the life course helps to prevent malnutrition in all its forms as well as a range of non-communicable diseases and condition. However, increased productions of processed food, rapid urbanization, and changing lifestyles have led to a shift in dietary patterns. People are now consuming more food high in energy, fat, free sugars, and salt sodium, and many people do not eat enough fruit, vegetables, and other dietary fibers such as whole grain. The exact makeup of a diversified, balanced, and healthy diet will vary depending on individual characteristics like age, gender, lifestyle, and degree of physical activity, cultural contest, locally available foods, and dietary customs. However, the basic principles of what constitute a healthy diet remains the same. Best diet emphasizes fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and fat-free or low-fat milk and milk products. Simple ways to adopt a healthy, sustainable eating pattern is by eating a diet rich in whole food. Think twice before you crash diet. Lean on professionals to get started. Learn the right diet for you. Surround yourself with healthy foods. Keep filling snacks on hand and avoid an all or nothing approach on your meal plan. Note, people with diets rich in vegetables and fruits have a significantly low risk of obesity, heart diseases, stroke, diabetes, and certain types of cancer. Welcome back. We are still discussing healthy diets. We are expecting our Zoom guest to join us, Dr. Afrik Ogunlai. Good morning to you, doctor. I just love like calling him Afrik. Afrik. I like shortening the name. Good morning, doctor. Okay, while we are still waiting for Dr. Africa to join us, um, I wanted to say something. When you talked about natural um, drinks, that's where you put the Zobo, the Tiger Nautum. Do you know that medically um 
A medical doctor gave a research of recent that um, Zobo is not too good for women. Ah. Yes, I read that, that that research. I read it about three days ago that um, women should limit. We need to discuss that with some of yes, our doctors. Yes, that women should anytime. limit the amount of Zobo they take and everything. Mm -hmm. So when we mentioned it, I was like, ah. You know, sometimes the thing is, this one will come and say, this one is good. And then another research comes in and says, limit it. Sometimes you're looking like, limit. what not do I do? No, wait, they are you know, two different words now, now, you see, for those who are learned, who understand the word limit, but for those who are in the rural areas, how do you explain to them that, no, this thing you're taking is too much, you have to limit it? Mm, it may be a bit difficult, but you're not withstanding. You know, those who are in the rural area, many of them don't really take all this carbonated drink. They have other drinks they had. Hey, no, you and, know, it's and like this will also take me to where we have that um, we should limit our alcohol intake. Now, you know why I'm saying you so? Know? You know all these people that sell these native herbal uh, mixtures that they carry around? Mm. You remember call it Agbo. <laughs> and it was when I, when I relocated to Lagos, I actually discovered that, oh, these things, because then we, I never grew up hearing or knowing those things. And then when you come and say, they yeah. have, they have everything Hello, for everything. Hello, doctor is Hello, ready. good morning, doctor. Africa. Doctor, how are you? Good morning. Now. All right, so Hello, we will be discussing in two minutes. Oh, God, what kind of rubbish is happening today? Hello, Dr. Africa. I think we are still having, um, okay. this doctor will join us when he's ready. So, you, you go to them and you complain about everything. They have cure for everything, and they will make joy too. They'll just ask you, how is it doing you? And then you explain, and then they'll just put this one, put this one, put this one, shake it and say, thick. First I was like, hey, these people, <laughs> you know, even if you tell them you want to lose weight, unfortunately, they have solution for it. Uh, what I think what they need to do, most of right, that's why they always um, advise that um, they should go for kidney tests. Mm. The reason is because many of these herbs are being taken carelessly mm. without measure, not knowing the potent of those herbs they are taking. Mm. So they really need to, really need to go for ah. kidney tests. My dear, well, we have, the only thing I would say is when right now, like the awareness and sensitization for healthy diets is ongoing, especially here on, on family and values. We try our best to talk about healthy diets so that in everything you're doing, we know that it's actually very busy. And in Hello. the life of Lagos, we are we are used to we are used to picking fizzy drinks on mm. once you're in traffic the first thing is you're reaching out for a carbonated drink and a snack and you're eating you can eat that for like two three times oh. while you're on traffic on transit to where you're going to and the traffic <laughs> do you know how many cholesterol do you, and no that's that is where that is where the issue is con consumed I, I told somebody i said rather than do that because i i i feel like you could also buy your fruits a previous day put inside your bag so when you feel like munching on something just pick one one fruit and after the other and now and, you, and I, I think we should also imbibe the spirit of um, eating fruits when they're in season mm -hmm. right now you have them um, what's this common fruit they call it is this star apple you're back call it agbalumo am i right <laughs> It's so, cherry. You know, it's, it's, yeah, cherry. it's cherry, right? Uh -huh. So it's, 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 it's common now. It's everywhere. You could get that. It's and healthy. You know it's good for abdomen pain. Now you see. So for it's those good. suffering abdomen pain, yeah. they can actually it's nap on it and, and have um, it in It's season. good for those who have uh, menstrual flow um, cramps from time to time. It's good for you, especially the right one. It helps to medically yeah it is good you see so those are things we should so when we're talking about healthy food a healthy and diet we don't need this also very good. very good and it's everywhere and everywhere everywhere it's everywhere so you need to look at all this and put them into and use. please while we are doing that teach our kids to imbibe the habit of eating vegetables mm. it's very important slice the cucumber and, and you, there are some schools that actually have um they call it fruits day mm -hmm. so they keep one day aside and they ask all kids don't don't come with your regular snacks no. you come with your fruits and some there was a time i did a research and i discovered that 80 percent of kids return back with their fruits mm. including my own son why they don't like it They'll tell oh, you, what they, they, they'll prefer not to have the fruits and just 
living like I that. Have so what? This now, if not that. And yeah, always when you bring it back home, I'll tell you sit down here and eat it. Sit down and As eat I'm that food. I'm looking the one in front of me. Oh, we have a very wonderful basket of fruits. Don't worry. After the show, I'm going to share. I'll share parts for you. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll give but you parts But do you know it. banana is also good? Yes. When uh, you find it difficult to sleep at night. Banana take actually banana boosts the and, uh, immune take system. Water, ordinary mm. water, room temperature water. It's good for you in the morning to help your digest. You heard when Dr. Africa was saying it the last time he was here. Mm. It helps your digestive system it prepares your you inside your t intestine and every part of your body for the day so when you do all this and little or less of cold eyes I, I have i have friends that can chew eyes when, when you say eyes women ah i they wonder how they do them eyes as in they will break it into pieces and be poop. Do you know <laughs> now I I do not want to say anything about eyes because I want to I want to just sit down here. No no I like it. No no it goes to my body. Now no, for me do you know there was a time in my life I would have to freeze water, break the ice, put it inside plates and eat it like food. Okay now. And this is one of them. I <laughs> no, another one. It got I to a point. It got to a point that it. whatever drink I'm taking, I'm saying it's uh, is, is life. Those that know me will know that yes. Ah, no, no, no. Joy. When it comes to eyes, it got to a point that if I'm angry, my daughter will give me eyes as as yeah. food. She cool. just said, Let me just stay cool. Your temper. <laughs> so come back. But then when I started discovering that there's an after effect as you grow old, I was like, no, I need to, I started, just the way I, I started cutting off on carbonated drinks, that was how I gradually started cutting off eyes, and, and today if I have one cold, I'm always like, no, it's too cold, you know, but that eyes thing, eh, seriously, and some people are so addicted to it, and it's not good, and it's also, not good at all. Also, when we look at cold environment and cold mm. um, activity around us. Let's look out for people who are in their 45, 50s, um, staying under AC, chilled AC, as in I leveled AC, sleep with it, wake up with it. I think you need to work on regulating it. It's not too good. Just like too much of <laughs> concentrated <laughs> fat. You know For that poverty, this is not poverty. Do you know why you know you know, you know I'm laughing? Because it that. gets to your bones. And that's why many who are working into their 50s or already in their 50s, mm. having arthritis or pains, pains, you know, in their joints, their knees and all that, they advise to have a, a warm, you know, clothing around them so that they can always use it to keep their knee. But I just warm. feel like once you're approaching, once you're above 35, you should make fruits a part of your lifestyle. No, not just fruits. No, I'm no talking about you're talking about you're leaving the leaving AC, AC to go into to another AC. AC. Do you know that a whole lot of people cannot survive 10 minutes without AC? Mm -hmm. Their bodies start reacting. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've mm -hmm. seen it a whole lot. Especially when you have conditioned your entire system to mm -hmm. that particular. That, the, the truth is, even from when you move from AC car to AC house, you're sleeping yeah, under it's AC. It's a side effect. Yeah. When you wake up, you have this, you, you notice you're already waking up and you're feeling a little bit um, congested in your spirit, in, in, your, in your body, you know. So sometimes you, when you tell them, just do 10 minutes away, they're like, no, I can't, I can't, I can't. When they are outside, it's as if the sun is biting them and they are rushing, out, you know. So, but when you are approaching your 40, 45, I feel you should cut down on a whole lot of things so that you can stay healthy and live and live healthy that's just what we are trying okay, to say today. okay okay Let, let's look at this also for better healthy uh um you know life you should also try to limit the food that um you eat from this particular categories you have food with added sugar mm -hmm. examples like cookies i take cookies i'm sorry i love to be real i'm just me so you so should I, limit taking your no, cookies no. when i have cookies i take like a bar or two a day okay. i just bought one it's been in the freezer since okay. okay our doctor is ready hello hello africa good morning doctor oh no i can hear him okay let's continue so like cookies cakes ice cream mm. um candies uh -huh. sugary uh -huh. breakfast cereal like conflicts like um, those things don't have so much sugar is when you add extra sugar to it yes mm -hmm. it doesn't 
Mm, it doesn't. Can... Hello, Africa. Are you there? Hello, doctor. Hello. Oh. Can you hear us? Ah, very oh good. Um, doctor will join okay, us. Okay, I'm um, flavored yogurt. Now, you see that, that aspect. I'm not a fan of yogurt, so whether flavored, whether I'm, I don't But you like love it. parfait, don't yes, you? Yes, I do, because the combination of, it has fruits in it, it has oh, other see, things in it. See, yes, see, so, still, <laughs> so I'm not having, I'm not having still, raw yogurt. It's still I'm not, having, it's still flavored. And besides, like the, 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 the yogurt that is don't greased, dodge it, no, don't no, dodge no, 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 no. The yogurt Sir, that is not flavored. You also have, you are dodging it, be real. Now, foods with added salt. Foods with added salt. When it says food with added salt, there, there, there's a, a particular um, quantity or measurement of salt you should have in a day. Mm -hmm. And that's what you use in cooking your food. Now, I, for those, I don't know why somebody till now would still be adding salt to food when you're eating. Now, when you go to restaurants, sometimes they'll so drop, loves, they'll drop they'll salt still, by your side. So sometimes I'm wondering, am I supposed to... It's actually to, not good to it's take not the good. raw salt. It's not good at the all. The salt needs a little bit of heat. It's not to, good at all, at all, at to, all. To work it out. they refined carbohydrates refined carbohydrates okay that one we'll talk to those that um, are used to porch things <laughs> those ones that are used to porch like that feel like everything you know mm -hmm. and now let me give you one story i actually went to visit a friend and, hello um, doctor hello, hello doctor. good morning ma'am uh, hello good morning hello how are you good morning i'm so sorry for i'm so sorry for joining late it's the next talk that has been Trash yeah. somehow. So we pardon me. We're sorry for for also disturbing you this morning. That's all good morning. Our viewers want to hear from you. So, uh, good morning, so what is good about taking um cookies? I'm going straight. I'm not introducing you now. What is good about taking okay. um cookies? Cookies, flavored yogurt, and some other things like that. What is good about it? Okay. Um, only left to me if I will speak about cookies. Although some people might come from my head or my neck or my entire body, <laughs> well, I won't mind. Well, cookies are delicious to consume. Cookies make you feel beautiful, sweet, delicious, and the like. But you taking time to ask how those cookies were made? Have you taking time to read through? The ingredient list. Have you ever taken time to check the number of calories, the amount of this, the amount of that in the pack of cookies you are consuming? The last time I spoke on this show, I said the best kind of food is for you to avoid anything artificial or processed as much as possible. Because if I'm making those cookies, I want people to buy, and if I'm going to make people to buy my cookies, there must be something inside. That will always attract them, that will get them hooked on it. Am I communicating? So, if you are to eat cookies, because you said, ah, you need, I heard you say artificial uh, carbohydrate and all those sorts, I just laughed in my tongue. Because <laughs> I don't think there's artificial, but I call it processed carbohydrate. You take bread in your house, that bread is enough that would you. Except when you need this to this day, so you be made up. Ah, today is my cheat day. Let me enjoy myself. So cookies is just something that you are giving your plate with, depending on the volume of consumption. That's number one. With respect to yogurt, um, don't forget that yogurt is as a result of fermented milk. And when we talk about fermentation, that means there is going to be action, or there are going to be actions of some microbes breaking down some things in the meal so that it will produce that sour taste the same way wine is produced now let me ask you man when you keep your milk outside your fridge for a very long time and you're about drinking it there's one horrible taste that milk brings that is what they are trying to bring into the god don't forget i said microbes work on the milk i meant it to create another level of whatever now imagine the fermentation process didn't go as planned. With these makers or the producer of this yogurt, do they stop it from being sold? No. Am I communicating? So that is why so-called parfait, the mid-measure of 
Uh, I heard Joy speak about Pafe. Pafe is Turkish yogurt. Am I right? Yes, Pafe is Turkish yogurt. Yeah, yeah. And then it was the traditional way the talks produced. There was a traditional way the talks produced their parfait. Now, every dictionary produces parfait at home. How hygienic is their production line? How hygienic is their production? How hygienic are the containers they use? If you notice, most of these uh, parfaits they sell, the way they sell it these days is funny. All these disposable cups, they cut uh, a slice of apple, they put uh, uh, all the berries and the lights. Are you so sure that what you are consuming is strictly produced? So yeah, that's yeah. the question I'm trying back to Joy and Ole this morning. <laughs> Aha, Joy. <laughs> okay, Joy. That, um, um, doctor, this, this, um, <laughs> this um, idea I wanted you to clear. Initially, when we started, we talked about um, okay. turkey and um, chicken. And there's this notion that, that, that one has that. higher cholesterol than the other. You didn't hear that. Hello, doctor. Can you hear me? Talking. I'm hear talking about turkey yes, and I'm chicken. Listening. There's this argument out there that one has a higher cholesterol than the other. Mm -hmm. And so there's preference for one than the other. Please, can you enlighten our viewers what this two represent? The turkey, the chicken which has a higher cholesterol and which would you advise people above 35 to go for if they want to indulge in it here yeah. well uh i will break it down in two ways we are talking about turkey meat and chicken meat you know both yes. are white and they are both birds yes mm -hmm. now when you look at chicken chicken has higher vitamin b6 b6 level yes than turkey Wait, they both have their uh, what they call it um, pros and cons. Chicken also has um, higher level of uh, hypothermic acid. Am I communicating? Yes. But when will that come to talking? When it comes to calories, fat, sodium, uh, turkey has lower calories, wow. it has lower fat, it has lower sodium. And at the same time, Turkey has more B12. That's vitamin B12. More zinc. Am I communicating, please? Yes. And it has, I think, uh, more niacin also. So, looking at these two delicious sweets, to me, live chicken is much more delicious than frozen or live turkey. But, Frozen turkey has more class and more uh, health benefits than chicken. But one thing I always advise people to do is, you know, when you want to eat your chicken or your turkey, there is this nylon-like cover on it. So I always advise you to be peeled off that nylon -like, and that is what is the most that's the most delicious part of that meat or of those meats. If there's anything like that. Have I been able to answer your question? Yeah, yes. But there are good sources of protein. There are, there are good sources of protein. Mm -hmm. Very good sources Turkey of protein. Seem to be, Turkey seems to be better. Oh, yeah. And as you all know. Yeah. That's why it's expensive. That's, that's uh, better. And I think more expensive. And it's yeah, more expensive than bigger. It's usually yes, expensive. Turkey yeah? is more expensive more than chicken. It has very thick bones. Skill goods. <laughs> and that's good. Okay. Now, now. Doctor, before you go, this is my last question. Now, I, I tend to meet someone who said that taking the intestine of, like, the shaki, a body, and all that, of goat and um, of cow, which one is better? That one is fattening. Uh, uh, Olori, we are talking about old fowls, yes? Um, when we look at the, the meat produced by goat and cow, which is uh, kidney, lean meat, and uh, goat meat is healthier than beef and cow. Thank you. Thank you. Am I correct? Yes, you are. They are both ruminant animals. They both have, they both have the four chamber uh, 
stomach, which is I think bumasoma, bumasoma, and um, reticulum. They both chew corn. They both have four leaves. But if you look at it very well, Odo, when you are preparing, I don't know whether you enjoyed all this, what you're back on is our name in the past. Huh? Huh? They call what? Awole. Yeah, awole. What the Yoruba has called? Yawole in the past. Okay. Okay. All these people, when, when they are, how do I call it? When they are cooking and they are uh, making party, they are paying those things. Whenever they are working on cow of ours, it's really that interesting. The long run. You will notice that they tend to feel more fat on the surface than that of goats. Yes, okay. very true. Very true. Thank you Am very right? much, Doctor. Yeah. Now what right. when you go to their when you go to their shaki, while trying to clean the shaki, there is more fat on that of uh how than oh, goats. Am I communicating? Which yes, means cows require more fat for their calories per adventure, there is no food. Automatically, that is what cows will definitely pass across to those who are consuming it. So. Hmm. Thank you very much, Doctor. We have to go now. Our time is really against us. Okay. Dr. Africa Ogunyale right, is the, the CEO there. and the medical director of Mermaid um, Care. Med Maid. Here in Lagos. Come again. Med Maid. Sorry. Med Maid. Med Maid. That is med medical maid. Yes. Med Maid Care here in Lagos. And uh, okay. I want to say a big thank you for thank calling you, Dr. Africa. Very short sure right, notice. It's so good it's to have you. Have a beautiful yeah. day. God bless you. Thank you. And you too, man. Bye. God bless you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you've heard it there. We have to <laughs> run. We have to run. We are running out of the studio right now because I need to be, my power is ready to, you know, go on the treadmill and just do what I have to do. My name is Irmin Olori AJ and I hope to see you tomorrow. I'll give you my, um, my weight, um, weight details tomorrow and my <laughs> BP as well. Make sure you do yours. That's a test. If you are able to do that, I promise you a recharge card tomorrow. I promise you. From me, from Family and Values, and my producer, and I will guard the top. And every of our crew, a big thank you to you. We love you. We appreciate you. Enjoy. Thank you very much for joining us. When we started the show, we told it was going to be an interactive section. And we know you've sent in your messages. We are definitely going to reply. And thanks to our doctor for joining us um, within that short notice. It's been a very interesting one. I know you've learned something. The difference between the cow meat, the goat meat, the turkey, yes, and the so. chicken. The nutrients. So for those that complain that turkey is high, now you know the reason why it's higher than chicken. Tomorrow it's Friday. Friday, we're approaching the weekend, and of course, Gala um, Family and Valley is saying thank you for keeping on with us. The next program is up on Galaxy Television. We'll see you tomorrow. My name remains Joy Abu. Bye. Don't forget your test tomorrow. I'll be waiting. <laughs>